<laughs> Who's that? Have you ever seen yourself like that before? Huh? Who's that pretty girl? Who's that pretty girl? Let me see. Hi. Come here. Come up here, Dana. Hi. You going back over there? Go ahead. How am I supposed to do it when you're like that? Hold on, guys. Dana, let me see that. Hi, hi, pretty. Hi, pretty girl. Let me see that. Oh, are you giving kisses now? Hi, guys. This is Amy with 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. You probably don't even you recognize. From Lab Rescue, Kim. You probably don't even rest. You don't even recognize this beautiful girl. Um, she was that sweet little girl that was outside on the concrete slab um, in Miami uh, by the Burger King that we were looking for for hours and hours. And um, thankfully, the girl Dana that was out there, which is who we named her after, um, I was on the phone with her for hours. So she couldn't find her. Uh, it was an, an a amazing, long, long, drawn out thread on social media. Um, very concerned about bringing this baby girl into safety. She is not microchipped. We have reported her to the Miami-Dade Animal Control, so they have record of her with her photo. Um, completely neglected, matted, fleas, ticks, which you won't see any longer because I literally just took her. Are you going in for my coffee? Come here. Um, I literally just took her to the groomers and got her all groomed. She smells so great. Uh, bonjour, Noel. Bonjour. And uh, yeah, so I picked her up. I uh, just got her from Zoe, who was kind enough to run and pick her up that evening and did the video, the live video of her. Come on. Come over here. Come on. Come on, Mama. Go in your seat so I can get a better shot of you. Go on. <gasps> there you go. Shake it off. You sit. Sit with your little nipples. She's definitely had litters um, out in the street. She's absolutely adorable and so very, very sweet. And we're so happy that we were able to get her to safety because no question, she's had litters um, on the street out there in Miami. I don't know. I know we know for sure she's been out there for a few weeks. And um, we just did, right before I took her uh, to the groomers, I did her uh, vetting. I got her, her vaccines. We did blood work. She... Um, may have a urinary tract infection so waiting for the results of her urine uh, to come back and we started her on prevention for flea and tick did heartworm testing um, fecal deworming everything that goes into bringing in a new dog um, into our rescue i am parked outside of the animal hospital which is why i decided i thought it would be a good time to do a little video so you could see this little face. Will you look at this? Will you look at this? How do you feel, Dana? Dana, you tired, Mommy. It's been a long day. She's had a long day. Um, I want to say a very special thank you to Dana, who was out there for hours in the heat looking and searching for her. She was matted. Uh, she had fleas. She had ticks. She was so thirsty. Uh, she's definitely not underfed. They said the workers there had been feeding her. It's a Burger King, so you can imagine. <clears throat> um, and I also want to say thank you so much to Zoe, who in the middle of the night when I had no place for her, uh, nobody was available, uh, Zoe ran literally to pick her up from a wonderful uh, acquaintance friend of ours, Janet Judge, who also does a lot of rescue and feeding down in the rural parts of Miami. There are just so many. Guys, you can't even imagine how many dogs that are abandoned out there right now that we are being tagged in all day long, um, asking if we can help. As you know, we also just picked up um, another dog that Tiffany ran down to the Redlands Rural um, on a farm. Uh, if you want to call it that, we have picked up dogs, many dogs over the course of seven years from that farm so we know the conditions of that farm. Um, it's a hoarding mentality. 
and um, they just collect animals. And that dog that we just picked up, we've given him the name Wade. Uh, Wade would have been a, another one just living in that cage for the rest of his life, honestly, with no medical, no vetting, and living in filth. So that's basically where we're at right now. Tiffany's on her way back with the new dog, Wade. I am in my car with Dana. Dana, why are you chewing your feet? You just got pretty, Mama. Hey, don't growl at me because you don't want me to mess with you. I know. You don't want me to mess with you when you're busy? What? <laughs> what are you doing? Look at me. Look at me, Mama. Come here. Come here, Dana. 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 She, I think she's mad at me because I made her get groomed. But she was sitting on my lap and she was giving me so gently kisses on my arm and the crease of my arm while I was driving and I had the music going. Are you just camera shy, Mama? Huh? Are you camera shy? She's so cute. Can I see your little teeth? Oh, you're young too. She's a young little girl. So I'm going to actually bring her inside and get her settled. Um, the good news is she is ridiculous. She weighs 20 pounds. 20, 21 pounds. Um, we weighed her. The, she's not spayed, so we are going to set that up for next week. The great, 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 great news is um, I did this wonderful family um, that live real, literally like five minutes around the corner from us here. They're friends of a friend. Um, <clears throat> they are in love with Dana. They ran and met Dana at our wonderful volunteer and friend uh, Zoe's home. Fell in love, want her. I ran and did the home check today prior to getting her uh, groomed and all her medical done. Um, and the home check passed, so they are going to foster to adopt, uh, make sure there's no owner looking for this baby girl, and then we're going to, you know, wait. Um, as I stated, we reported her to the Animal Control Miami-Dade, um, and, uh, yeah, get her basically um, settled into a new forever-loving home and get her spayed. So that's our, our goal for Dana. Um, we will update just as soon as we can when Tiffany comes back with Wade, the new dog that she's driving with. She had to tie him because he was wanting to sit on her head, literally um, kissing her entire face off. So she had to pull over and stop and tie him and get him a cheeseburger. <laughs> so I just got off the phone with Tiffany. Uh, she's trying to catch something in my car. It's a piece of her hair that keeps, like she just got groomed. So when she sees, oh, it's hair. There's no bugs in my car. <laughs> That I know of, um, but every time, watch, watch this, watch this, watch this. Dana, Dana, look, Dana, what's this? Hi, Dana. What is it? Look at me, Dana. Look at me. You want to come over now? Yeah. Now she wants to come over to my lap. Come on. Shaking it. What? See, she's trying to catch the hair as it's flying. She shakes herself. Because she was just groomed. You're a silly girl. You are silly. Yes, you are. Can you stand this face that was living on the streets? This is all day long. And, you know, you're looking at this dog going, oh, that's somebody's dog. They were all somebody's dog. You're talking about Miami. You're talking about a horrible part of Miami. Um, we're dealing with a serious mentality war where dogs are just disposable. They live outside. They dodge traffic. They're not spayed or neutered. They're just basically reproducing, reproducing, reproducing puppies, which we see all the time. She's catching her hair. Look at this. You want to go get settled and relax and get some food and water, Mama? Hmm? You want to relax? All right, guys, I'm going to sign off. But I wanted to update you on little Dana that we saved uh, just the other day. And um, she's doing awesome. So this is where your donations go. The vetting, getting them safe, getting her groomed, and then getting her spayed and getting her into a forever loving home where we do a thorough home check, as you know, because I just did it myself. And this is Amy. Okay, I'm going to flip again. Really? Are you looking out the window? You're very... Oh, watch your head, Mama. You're very busy. You're very... Come here. Come back. You're very, very busy. I know. Come on. No, no coffee for you. Don't lick the coffee cup. Come over here. Come on. All right, as you can see, she's playing with the controls of my car. She's trying to drink coffee out of my coffee cup. She's very... Catching 
hair that's flying off her body, thinking it's flies. <laughs> uh, yeah, I wish we could do something about it. We constantly are trying and we have met with every single commissioner. We have been um, on the news um, repeatedly uh, trying to educate and bring awareness and you know, I, I don't know what the answer is. Guys, it's getting worse. Uh, we're at almost 4,000 dogs and hundreds and hundreds of cats that we've rescued. And I, all I can tell you is we're dealing with a serious, serious mentality war here. And it's not getting any better. So look at how nice I got her the puppy cut. Because it's summer here and I wanted her to be comfortable and she smells so good. I wish you could smell her through the phone. Right, baby? You ready to get out of here? She's ready. All right, there's our Dana update, and we'll be updating you more throughout the day, guys. Please, we're asking, you know, to get these dogs cared for properly, um, vetting, grooming, spays. Now she's just resting on my lap. Uh, spays and neuters and running, you know, an hour each way down to the Miami area to pick up these dogs. Um, we can't continue without your support. And, you know, we just did the live video of Tiffany on that farm rescuing that dog. And we need your donations. We really do. Any little bit to help so we can continue. Because without the donations, we are forced to say no, unfortunately. Um, I, I really think that we should put up a challenge. And if everybody could donate $5, then we could cover uh, the cost of all of this every day on and on and on. It doesn't stop. So I just looked through the PayPal and I think there was a hundred dollars. Uh, that's it for the new dog. Um, and I just went and took care of Dana. Like I said, her medical, our, our outstanding balance at the VCA Imperial Point Animal Hospital is now back up to $6,000 and change. <clears throat> so with that being said, um, until we can pay that down and start um, collecting donations, we are going to be forced to honestly uh, have to say no and we don't want to so as I've always said it takes a village and we need your help we wouldn't ask if we did not need you so please donate something any little bit uh, this is Amy with our update of our dog Dana that you're looking at the top of her head because she's very busy looking out the window um, this little girl would still be on the streets probably having litter after litter she already has she has nipples um, under her belly um, big nipples so she's had litters already um, and uh, we're just lucky she's not pregnant which she easily could be living on the street and again we have our new dog uh, Wade we've given him the name Wade W-A-D-E and he's coming in to our organization any minute now Tiffany is on her way so we're signing off. I'm doing a reverse so you can get a better look at her face because she keeps looking away and she wants to look out the window. And like I said, she's all pretty and groomed and looking my steering wheel now. And silly. You give me a kiss. Look at that kisses. Come on, Mama. Come on. Give me kisses. Give me a kiss. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see kisses. She's very sweet. Very affectionate. All right, signing off. This is Amy uh, with my update on. Dana <laughs> and Wade 100 plus abandoned dog of Eric Glades, Florida please donate thank you